Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Do you have some manila folders hanging around that uh, you know you thought might be a great craft supply but you're not quite sure what to do with them? Well, there's about a million and one things you can do with manila folders in the junk journal world, but here's just one little easy option. I was goofing around with this little prototype today. I was making a mini file folder and I, I love to make mini file folders but I always get stuck with uh, what to do with the little, this piece. You know, uh, getting that to look just right. And I have another video on how to do that part, but this is going to be an option. And so what I did was I made this little uh, manila file folder. And um, when you open it up, it is a little storage house for some stamps. And I thought that was a cute way to give somebody some things to play with, some inspiration in their junk journal. And this can be easily uh, paper clipped onto any page or tucked into a pocket or a tuck. <laughs> and, uh, but this little, these little stamps um, uh, that I just punched out of the manila uh, file folder itself uh, became the top little piece. So kind of imagine if there, there were a stack of these, of course, there's not going to be a stack of these in your junk journal. Well, there could be, you know, never want to rule anything out, but um, um, they kind of act as this and then that started to open up a lot of possibilities well if we can use little punch outs then we could use anything um so i just thought I'd, i made one of these and i had so much fun making it and i thought let ah, me just turn on the camera and here we go okay so as you can see well not you yet okay as you can see you can make a lot out of one this is a big legal size uh, manila folder but you can use a regular size doesn't matter and if you don't have um Manila folder, you can also use cardstock or um, uh, construction paper or any paper that's a little bit thicker than copy paper will work technically. It's, uh, it's just the shape we're going for. The manila color, manila vanilla, um, you just happen to get that with the manila envelope, um, but we can make that as well if you want to. So um, you can ink it up and things like that. So let's make one of these little guys, pretty easy. All right. So, now I happen to use the, the spine in this. Here's the spine. Here's the spine. But if you have another piece that doesn't have a spine, you could just as easily fold it and create a spine. So maybe we'll do that with this one since uh, you're gonna have a lot of extra paper with one manila envelope. And this was actually just a scrap. It, and I'm trying to use up my scraps. So I'm, I'm trying, to be, trying to be resourceful here and use up what I have. So. And you get some manila folders. All right, and how big they are is entirely up to you. Um, I find a bone folder really helps here when you're folding thicker stuff. Maybe do the finger fold first and then grab your handy dandy, where did I put it? There it is, right where I left it, bone folder. Yeah, and just give yourself one of those. Now you've got a nice sharp crease, just like in the original spine of the manila folder. Folder, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so next, uh, these can be any size. There's really no uh, rhyme or reason or for what size that you uh, can make these. Um, this was a little tiny one. Maybe we'll make a little tiny one. Maybe then we'll make a little bigger one. Okay, well, we'll just kind of make this guy the same size so you can see exactly how this guy was made and then we'll just branch off. We'll just go off in all sorts of crazy directions because that's what we do. Okay, here we go. I'm just getting the basic dimensions. You can use your scissors to cut this can use um, a guillotine. I'm gonna use the craft knife so everybody can see what I'm doing. Good, all appendages still attached, yay, yay. All right, now, okay, well, I could, I could square it up and that'll make it just handy dandy, super easy. And this is just a fun little relaxing craft and sometimes we need those in amongst all the journals and, and uh, you know, whatever else we're doing. Every once in a while, you just need some brain space, brain relaxation. And uh, I, I love these little crafts. I don't know why that's feeling weird, but it's already through. Okay, so everything is good. Um, probably a dull knife. Okay, so now I just have what looks like a little booklet. Okay, nothing fancy there. Uh, now what I did with this particular one, hang on, I, I, I think the computer just came on in the other room. I'll be right back. Okay, nothing to fear. It was just the computer playing the beginning of a trailer of some zombie movie. So it really sounded weird for a second. All is well, all is well. Okay, so this little lower front, 
higher back, lower front, higher back. You, you can design these any way you like, but I was attempting to somewhat mimic the lower front, higher back of um, a manila folder. Not exact replication, but, but just for fun, you know, just something to do for fun. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nip off, I'm going to snip off a um, section. Okay, here we go. Of this, did I get it? Almost. There we go. And now I've got a lower section in front and you can make that as big or as small as you would like. And then what I did was I took a crocodile corner chomper and I chomped it. And I tried chomping it with the, the little one, you know, this one, but it wasn't working because it's, this manila folder is a little thicker. You know, this is like a paper corner edger for like single sheet copy paper. But this one um, kind of is a little easier with the, uh, <clears throat> the heavy duty corner chompers. And again, if you don't have that, you can just uh, use anything round edged, edged like a, uh, a dime or a quarter or a nickel or something. Just place it there, trace it around, and then fussy cut it off. So you're good to go. <clears throat> Never let lack of a craft supply stop you, right? That's right. Our mantra. Okay. So next thing I did was I built a little pocket on the inside, a very tiny one. And in this one, I happened to use some... Um, uh, this is wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. So let me just take a little piece of that. Oh, maybe we'll go this way this time. And I make it a shallow pocket because, you know, it's a shallow pocket. Um, actually, let me not use that. I'll use something different. I'm just going to go for a different look on this one. I'm going to, okay, I'm reaching into, okay, let's use this. It's here. Um, I have this, it has a stamp on it, which is awesome. But the bottom part I could actually use as a pocket. So let's create a pocket out of that. Actually, maybe we could turn the whole thing into a pocket. That might be kind of cool. Ooh, that is kind of cool, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna have to forfeit a little bit of it. That's okay. And I'm, I think I'm going to thin it up a bit just because uh, this is gonna be a thin little project. And I don't want a lot of excess. So I'll just thin it long ways and width ways. There we go. All right, let's see, we have a cute little pocket now. Yeah, I think that's a cute, an adorable little pocket. Okay, so let us um, glue this stamp down just a smidge because he looks like he's lifting. We don't want him to lift, we want him to stay. Yeah, I want to stay and hang out and have tea, right? Franklin D. Roosevelt, if you could stay and ha have tea with us, that would be nice. And he is, uh, Preventing forest fires with us today. That's very nice. Yes, yes it is. I think stamps are beautiful to decorate with. Um, there's so many different kinds and you can pick a theme that you really like or you can just get a grab bag of stamps and, and just have fun, you know, just have fun. Okay, here I am inking with, what is this? Whatever it is, it's kind of dry. Is that vintage photo distress ink? Okay, I'm just gonna wet my, my, I just squirted a water bottle on my ink pad, retracting knife. And just gonna ink around here a little bit. Oh, maybe this one's getting low. Getting a little, okay, I guess it's getting a little bit, but probably getting a little low. Probably been used and used and really used over the years, so. Okay, there we go. We've got some ink on her. And let's glue her down. Let's try the, uh, I don't know, what we're gonna work with today. Fabrifix? Okay, because we can get a thin bead. Um, this is Fabrifix, uh, clear silicone glue. Uh, great uh, for fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, or paper to paper. And I put it in a Sugar Bells icing piping bottle and uh, just for it to get a thinner stream. And uh, there we go. And there is our pocket. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Now as that's drying, we'll just go ahead and do the topper. <clears throat> So let's see what we got to do the topper with. What are we gonna do the topper with, huh? 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 Why don't we do it with a stamp? Oh, wouldn't that be so that, yeah. Okay, that's like obvious. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> anything can be these little, oh my gosh, I have a giant mess over here. Hang on, emergency, I've got vintage photo, which was not coming out at all. Now apparently it's all over my desk. Okay, that's all right. Gotta have a wet wipe handy, right? Ready, at the ready. All right, so let's do that. I kind of like that. All right, let me. <clears throat> Let me shimmy it up just a smidge and we will 
Is it 100 degrees in here? Or I, I just, oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. No, no, it's not a fever. No, no. <laughs> this is the lovely blessings of menopause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. There. Now this could, <clears throat> oh, maybe I'll put it over here now for a little juxtaposition. Uh, tossing that word around like I know what I'm talking about. Poof. And uh, okay, here we go. A little glue. A little glue will do ya. Um, hot glue will work here. Wet white glue will work. Oh, I should have probably inked this first. Oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna leave like a little bit so her like there. Now we can totally see what, what she is and what she's all about. Okay. And maybe we want to ink this one in blue. Hey, can I get my oh that's such a better way to store these. Um all right, let's, let's ink this one in blue. This is Broken China. Okay, and this is an oxide, a distress oxide, and they tend to be very pigment rich. So if you want to get good bang for your buck, the oxides, I mean, these things just never, I mean, no, I've never had one dry out on me. There always seems to be color on the, the thing, or if it dries out a little bit, I just wet it a little bit. I know you're probably not supposed to do that, but I do, I wet it. They are water movable, so I, I think water is okay to put on them. Um, but you know, obviously check out their website for detail. Uh, you know, I'll do anything to it. Once it's mine, it's mine. And I will <laughs> put it through all sorts of tests to see what it'll do. And sometimes I just honestly don't remember what I'm working with. I'm just working quickly and I just want to get going. I, I don't want any, anything to stop me. Got my groove going, that kind of stuff. Okay. So let's see what we have so far. Okay. So, um, I think I decorated behind here. And I just put some rubber stamps there and you could do that. You could put words, you could um, uh, totally do other things. Well, let's see now, I already have a couple stamps here, but I thought I might give you an idea of what else you could do that you could put in here. Cause maybe, maybe you don't have stamps and you're like, oh, that's great Pam, but I, I don't have any stamps. Um, all right, well, I was thinking, hold on. Maybe you have some book pages around. Maybe you have some dictionary around. Maybe you have an old, um, you know, whatever, anything, a novel, something that you can sneak a page out of. And uh, you can actually take little clippets from your, um, let's, let's, for example, use this dictionary. That might be fun. Okay, get a little scissors going here. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to cut this the old fashioned way. I know I don't use scissors a lot, do I? Um, just because um, it, you, it's not going to tear the paper. Okay, now let's just cut this down the middle. Uh, all right, so now the first, like, I've got some cute words here. Hibiscus, hibernate, hi hiawatba, what's that? Hero of a narrative poem, Hiawatha. Okay, I've never heard of Hiawatha. Hiatus, yeah, who doesn't need one of those, right? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I really should put my glasses on. Where are they? On my head. Oh, thank goodness. For once, they're in the right place. And so you could go and select which words you like. Um, you could maybe use words for uh, that are themed to your journal. You could use words that are um, inspirational, uh, surprise words, some, something somebody would not expect. Hey day, there you go. A good little clump. And what? Hey, hey. What does the me, hey mean? Exclamation of surprise. Hey. I knew that. <laughs> I know you knew that too. But hey. <laughs> We use it a lot, especially today. How about a hexameter? That's right. When's the last time you dusted off your hexameter? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I, I thought so. Okay, let's see how these go. And I think it's kind of cute if they poke up a little bit because then it's sort of like, like what is that little thing in there to play with? What, what, is the, what, what has been bestowed upon me here? Okay, so I'm just going to tuck in these words. Actually, you could put the words sticking out. That might be more fun. And then, well, you know, we could actually put a, a stamp or something behind it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just grab a stamp off the wall. Okay, here's one. Here's a, um, a leaf. Okay. Got a leaf. And uh, I'm going to use my, my dried up vintage photo. Maybe I'll put this leaf like it's coming out of the little pocket there. That's kind of cute. Yeah, maybe I'll just some more leafies down here to go with the theme. Maybe they're like rolling in the wind. 
coming off a bit. Okay, there we go. Now we've filled in our background. Not necessary, just fun. Just goofing around fun. Um, and let's tuck in our hexameter. hexameter. All right, you want to know what it is? It's a, ver it's a verse. A verse with six feet or metrical divisions. The Greek and Latin heroic verse, dactylic hexameter, as used in the Iliad and the Odyssey of Homer. Okay, well, there you go. That's clear as mud, right? Yeah, I still wouldn't know one if I fell over one. Um, but, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> these books are supposed to be helpful, these dictionaries. Sometimes they confuse you more than what you went in with. It's like, I'm just going to give them hay. That'll, that'll bring some peace of mind. Well, that's hiatus. There's Hiawatha. Where'd hay go? Here's hay. <laughs> Everybody can relax when it's just a hay. There we go. All right, so we have a little collection of snippets from a book, which is just something fun and easy. I don't know. I'm just goofing around with papers on my desk here. Um, and then we have the front. Oh, look at that. Yep, that's how it happens. Oh, oh. Okay, so now we're going to have to work that into our design. That's right. Well, that means we're just going to roll with that. Yes, maybe we're going to come along and ink up these this, this little whole front area a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. All right, you want you want to, where is it on my, it's something's coming off somewhere. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, look at that. That's where it was. Okay, now I know. All right, um, move these guys over. Oh boy, this stuff gets everywhere, doesn't it? Crafting is a messy business. It is, it's a messy business, but that's part of the fun, right? Um, who didn't love a good mud puddle, right, right? Okay. Um, now we have that. Now we could just leave it as that, or we could put something on the front and um, maybe we want to put a word. And what did I do with this one? Oh, I did. I put inspire. Okay. So let's put, um, how about create? Yeah. That'll get them going. Right. Um, let's see. Let's use black. Only limited to your imagination here, which means there is no limit. You can take this as far as you want to go. All right, we'll pull out the stickles. I haven't done that in a while. All right, um, actually, I think I did it yesterday, but I, I remember like, oh yeah, I have stickles. Okay. And the nice thing about this project is when you're done, you can just set them aside to dry easily. And uh, what color, what color? How about, uh, how about this color? This is Nouveau Drops. And what color is this? Crystal, oh, raspberry pink. There you go. Okay. Now I haven't used this one in hundred years. Let's see if it still works. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Oh, maybe just go all the way around. Overdo it love, like you love to do it, Pam. Put on a lot of dots. Okay. Here I go. Dotting. I'm dotting. Dotting with the best of them here. I dotted before and I'll dot again. Here we go. Whoop. There's a big one. Match it a big one. Okay, there we go. All right, now you can keep going. You can make these as intricate or as simple as you like, um, but I would recommend putting them aside to dry when they are done. Okay, over there. All right, so let's make another one. All right, let's make a bigger one, see what happens. I, I haven't made a bigger one yet. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna cause a problem. You go over there. <laughs> you know, when these wings get flapping, there's nothing that's going to uh, uh, hold this hold this chicky down. Okay, <laughs> um, you know it's all right to run amok in your own in your own craft room. <laughs> I like that actually. Maybe I should just work that into the design. So that's where I punched out these, and then I took some uh, worn lipstick distress oxide, and I had this clear cutting mat thing and I and I opened it okay and I rubbed it uh, here and then I spritzed some water on it and then I dragged the little cutouts through it but it didn't darken it enough so I ended up picking the little cutouts up with with I can't find it oh there it is a tweezers because <laughs> apparently that's the only way you can pick, pick those little wet things up and then I put them on my pad and I mushed them around and then they got saturated with color so I don't know if it's just because my pad is kind of dry or what but that's what I did mm -hmm. okay so yeah why reinvent the wheel this is kind of rolling with it cute already I don't know if I can get them upside right 
Well, they're going to be upside down. That's just the way it is. Okay, so, uh, and now, why not just fold it where you want it already? Like, like yeah, so I, don't, I can remove that one step. I don't have to cut it again. I have ink all over my fingers, and I have a funny feeling I'm going to be working that into the design of this one. Okay, here we go. And now you could call this a file folder. You could call it a booklet. Now, this is on that side. Hmm. I, I think that's kind of cool, actually. I was actually going to put it up here, but maybe, maybe, just maybe. Let's see. We have some more of those butterflies. Where's that little butterfly thing? Boop -a -doo. Boop -a -doo -a -doo. Here we go. Well, all right. Maybe you don't have a butterfly. Maybe you have a one inch circle punch. Maybe that might work. Okay, let's try that. All right, so here's, here's some manila folder. Let's just punch out some good old one inch circle punches. The most handy paper punch. If you can only get one punch in your life, get the one inch circle punch. You can use it for so many things, for book, book um, page tabs, um, and apparently now for file folder uh, little toppers. Okay, so now here comes plan B on how to color these. And you don't have to color them. That's not mandatory. I mean, you could just come along and, and just glue them on, like across the top, and maybe make like a little, a little row of them like that. Okay, or you could distinct, you could distinct them from each other. Yeah, that's right. And when you're distincting, <laughs> as distinctions go, now sometimes all you need is a little bit of distinction, just a little bit of another color to give you some contrast. And sometimes that's, that's all you need in life. Now you could do something like that and then just stick all of those there. But if you want to go for another flush of color, all right, let's try this. Oh, this is going to work. We're going to try it. All right, what do we got? Digging in the drawer over here. Oh, I almost closed this drawer completely. All right, let's try this. Oh, this is going to be messy. <laughs> Here's where y'all run through the hills. Yep, it's going to be messy. What is that on the floor? Hang on, I have to check a strange object. Oh, no, it's a part, 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 but a part of a leaf. It's part of a leaf. Nothing to be afraid of. No, <laughs> it's okay. Just want to make sure it wasn't anything weird Sonny would eat. Okay, so let's put you back over there. And let's put these guys down. So what you want is a clean, a surface that you're, it's not going to, uh, like, whoops, can't see a thing. Um, I'm going to spray them with Distress Ink. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is Dusty Concord. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. I just like so much. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's just roll you around it there. It's got to be pretty constant. Should we get a purple dot out of this? I think we will. I think we will. Let's see. Whoops. Come on. Oh, I'm going to chase you. To <laughs> Come back here. Hey. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to get my fingers perfectly. I know it's going to happen. Why am, I, why am I fighting it? Okay, there we go. You might want to use gloves if you do this stuff. It gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. All right, I'm going in. There we go. Yeah, da 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 Okay, let's see what this looks like. This I can't pick them up. Oh, that's pretty purple. All right, that's all right. Oh, we got some purplish. Of course, you could just go pick cut um, purple paper too. That would work. Okay. Okay. But you know, just say you want to play with your stuff. Here we're playing. We're definitely playing today. Okay. So. Let us uh, round a corner, round a corner, round a corner. Okay, kind of cute, right? All right, now let's get in the, uh, this is gathered twigs, distress oxide. I think this has a little more oomph to it. Yeah, I think it's got a little more oomph. There's my oomph. That's what I was looking for. You know, sometimes you just want a little oomph. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to ink around this, get it to pop. And we'll do the inside because somebody's going to look in on the inside. And we should probably do the back too. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Did we get it right? No, back side. Yep, here we go. Oh, this one kind of lends itself to stenciling, I think. I'm feeling I have more space here. And maybe I can stencil this. Let me just do something like this to make those pop a little more. Okay, we got. Okay, now we have something like that. And I feel like we tried something the other day. 
All right, let's grab a stencil. We have a million. Okay, how about this one? This one has crazy numbers on it. Okay, this is gonna go like this. Okay, so I have upside down butterflies, but it could happen to anybody. It could happen, it could happen. Okay, so let's do this. These are all backwards, but I think that's kind of cool. Let me get my paddle brush. This sometimes works really well. Um, and let's, let's you, not pink. Let's use the Distress Oxide again. I think that was a nice color. Okay, so this is a, a, the handle broke off, but you can get these anywhere. Um, I think I originally got mine at either TJ Maxx or Walmart or something, but you can get them online. They, they come under different names, makeup brushes, paddle brushes. There's art brushes that look exactly like the makeup brushes and the paddle brushes that come from the makeup section. So they're just very densely packed and they're really easy uh, stencil friends. See that? How friendly, how friendly can you get? That's like so friendly for, to a stencil. Okay. Yeah, so it sort of just gets in there. You know what I mean? It just gets in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's glue on our amazing purple dots. We actually was able to look cute on the front too. We will put the purple dots down here. I, I'm just feeling, I don't know, the purple dots maybe want to go down here. That's why I just, yep, they do. Look at that. That's where they want to go. All right, so we're just goofing around decorating little hand decorated file folders that we've created out of just little bits and pieces. And, um, I guess you've already figured that out. I don't know why I'm explaining that at this point in the video, but that's that's kind of where this went. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's just good to get back to basics, just making things from paper. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I love doing that. Um, it's my happy place. And uh, um, I hope I hope it is yours too. Or, or if it is, um, I, I'm glad you're here because we can share and ideas and stories and joys and, and challenges and everything that comes with the for the love of paper. And here we are. Okay, it would be nice if I got them all in the middle, right? Where they're supposed to be like centered correctly. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, very fancy. Very, very fancy. Now I'm feeling like more inclined to do what I was originally going to do. And let's just do it. Let's just do it and say we did. I'm going to put a nice line of the Fabrifix glue up there. And these little highlighted lovelies, I'm going to put them at the half circle part. Nobody knows what this little thing is. I could just leave it as is and just leave it as space for somebody else to put things away. Or I could tuck little surprises in here or little note papers or something like that. Um, you know, who knows? This one's a little bigger, so it has um, maybe a few more possibilities of what it could do. Okay, there's something sort of celestial going on about this one. Um, I don't know, it kind of looks like phases of the moon or something, right? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, okay, there we go. All right, now let's do something on the inside. Okay, what am I gonna do? All right, let me take a look for another piece of something. There's gotta be something around here. Okay, now I am going to grab another piece of book page because I love using up book pages. I've got some that tore, so let me just use the, what's left. All right. Yeah, if you're going to tear a page with the tearing ruler, or the, the metal ruler with cork on the bottom, sometimes it's better if you turn it over to the metal side. You just get a sharper tear. But if you really want something to stay still in your cutting, that's when you secure with the, the cork. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. There we go. So it's kind of like a two-fold tool in one. It's just a, a metal ruler. You can get these anywhere, uh, but they're really handy and they're not that expensive, but I, I'm, oh, love that tool. Love that tool. What can I say? Hmm, I made a narrow one. Okay. That's okay. We'll just put it over here. And maybe let's go around just to ink it up a little since this is kind of an inky day, isn't it? It's an inky day. We are just having fun inking on, inking on and ink and on. What are you doing, Sunny? Sleeping. Okay. Well, there you go. There you have it, folks. That's what, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm not chasing him. What are you eating? All that stuff. Yep. No, he's sleeping right now so Mama can craft. Yep. Okay. You sleep, little guy. You're growing. I know. He's 11 months old now. I know. I know. How cute. Oh, he's my little guy. Okay, so now we have that, a tiny little pocket. And you could actually put pockets and stuff here if you want to. All right, why don't I? All right, what do I got? Have I got anything left that's still straight? Yeah, here we go. Here's some. 
Maybe I'll do a complimentary one down here. Okay, I'm going to turn it over because I'm going to use the cutting side. All right. There we go. And, you know, how wide these are, how long they are, totally up to you. Totally up to you. Just having fun. And maybe you want to put some... I don't know. We'll find some stuff to put in here. We could put stickers. We could put, you know, like a million things. Shapes. If you want to punch out some shapes. Sh if you want to punch out some shapes and stick them in here for somebody to play with, that would be very nice. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. I have, I have a whole bunch of cutout shapes. And uh, they may, that, that might be a great way to um, share them with others. Maybe in Happy Mail or something like that. Now, you probably want to wait for your glue to dry. I would suggest, but of course I won't. But if I was going to, that's what I would do. I, I feel like I want to do some, okay, I'm going to do something. Here go. I'm going to stamp in those little circles up there. Yep. Okay, I'm just goofing off now. You know that, right? Okay. Let's just get lost in the papers. We're totally lost in the papers today. Okay, there we go. All right, here we are. And then we want to stuff it. All right, let me get my little tray of shapes. Tray of shapes, where are you? Okay, I've got like all sorts of weird stuff. Okay, what's that? Is that anything? No, here it is. Tray of punched out shapes. That's right. Okay, so let's see what we can tuck in here, which might look cute. This pink guy, he's kind of cute. Oh, look, I stamped on him. That would be one of those simple paper pleasures where you're just stamping on whatever little bits of paper. That's a great way to use up scraps. Just stamp the heck out of them. And then you've got all these little fun things to work with. I mean, how cool is that? The big one's gotta go up here. It's, got, it's kind of, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Now they all look the same. You ever notice that? <laughs> oh, there's a little key. I'll put you in there. There they go. Okay. Maybe there's a little heart. See, that would be fun. Like, you don't need to buy a lot of expensive anything. If you've got some punches and you sort of forgot about them, as we do, as we do, you can tuck them in to little pockets and um, create worlds of possibilities for yourself or for family members or friends. Will you fit? No, got to use shorties here. Um, oh, here, I got a bug that fly. Okay. Well, you know what, this guy, maybe I'll, I'll glue him on somewhere. Like, maybe I'll put him, like, over here or there or something. All right, we'll put you there. Um, nom, nom, nom. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have this. This might fit. Might you fit? Get in there. Hey, why not? There. Are you in? Yes, you, you passed the fold test. Okay, we are good. Put this guy. Mr. Q in there. What else do we have in here? You know, sometimes it's important to go through your stuff. And uh, here's a nice little bird. Will you fit? No, you'll probably get wackoed there. Let me put you here. There, you're pretty coming out of there like a little angel. A little angel. Oh. Okay. There we go. Need a few more just to fill this guy up. And then I think we are done. How about this little guy? He's kind of cute. So I glued this. That's, that's why it's... Oh, there, I'm free now. Okay. All is well. And maybe a little pink one. There you go, all loaded and ready to play. Did I show you any of that? I'm sorry if I was off camera. Um, so now you get so excited with what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, we were gonna glue that little butterfly down somewhere, right? I'm gonna put you, okay, I'll make you a little blue butterfly. How about that? So there you go, folks. If you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for coming by, hanging out, and, and crafting with me. Um, just never know what we're going to do next. Got a lot of ideas coming your way. If you're looking for any of my links, they're all down below in the description drop-down box underneath the video. And I've got another set of ephemera fundals, the ephemera collections. The uh, If you want to get actual papers, um, old, new, all sorts of different papers um, related to making junk journals that I have collected over over the years um, you can order those on my Etsy shop they're called the ephemera collection and um, what else oh uh, don't forget to sign up for the free monthly email newsletter and um, what else oh podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays um, videos come out Mondays Wednesdays Fridays and Saturdays 7 a.m. Eastern time you can find me on Instagram Pinterest Etsy Twink 
Twinkton, <laughs> Twinkton and Litter, <laughs> how about that, Facebook, and uh, come and join our Facebook group. We're having so much fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and just loving what see, see you guys are making from all these crazy video ideas. Um, thank you so much for all uh, that you contribute uh, to the Facebook group. And uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Um, take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.